I remember when I first got into the coffee game, the espresso menu was daunting. There were so many different drinks with all these different names, I thought I'd never remember them all. However, I soon discovered that the recipes weren't nearly as hard as I thought to learn. So let's get stuck in and learn all the most popular drinks on the espresso menu. Now the best place for us to start is with an espresso, which can also be referred to as a short black. A single or double shot of espresso is going to be the base of all the other drinks we make, so it's important to learn this one first. When we're extracting espresso, it's best to use a double shot basket as it's a lot easier to get the shot to run evenly through the puck. In this example, I have a 20 gram basket and I'm aiming for 40 grams of espresso. I want this shot to run in a time of about 26 to 32 seconds to achieve a balanced extraction. If it's not running in this time, we're going to adjust the grind to get the shot running nicely. There's a couple of videos already in this series going through the details of espresso. So if you're having trouble with your extraction, I'd definitely recommend watching those first and then coming back. So if you need a single shot for the drink you're making, you're just going to catch one side of your porta filter. If you need a double shot, you're going to catch both. An espresso or short black is traditionally served as a single shot, but some people want a double shot of espresso to get that whole extraction. The next drink we're going to look at is a long black. This drink is a double shot of espresso on top of hot water. To make this drink, you're gonna fill your cup two thirds full with hot water and then extract a double shot of espresso on top. I like to leave a little bit of room so that the coffee is easy to carry, or you can add a little splash of cold water to cool down the coffee and drink it straight away. While we're talking about the long black, let's have a quick chat about an Americano. Most people believe that the main difference between an espresso and a long black is that you do the espresso first with an Americano and then add hot water afterwards. Now in reality, the only difference this really makes is the presentation of the coffee. The long black will have the crema on top, whilst the Americano will have that espresso and crema more thoroughly mixed into the water. Now flavor wise, this won't really make a dramatic difference to the final cup, as the crema on the long black will tend to dissipate pretty quickly anyway. So we're onto the milk drinks now, and let's start with the flat white. Made popular in Australia and New Zealand, the flat white is now becoming a popular drink around the world. It has a single shot of espresso with steamed milk to top up the cup. You want your milk texture to have about half a centimeter of froth to lock in that crema. When texturing your milk, try not to add too much air. Just keep your steam tip on the surface for a couple of seconds and then focus on getting that whirlpool for the perfect texture. For pouring, we're going to knock and swirl our milk before we pour and we're gonna pour from about five centimeters height to set the crema. This is actually the same pour style for all of our coffees except the cappuccino. If you fancy yourself as a bit of a latte artist, you can then move your jug closer to the surface of the milk to create some latte art. Now there will be some more specific latte art pattern tutorials later on in this home espresso masterclass series, so make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. Next up we have a latte. A latte is a very similar drink to a flat white, but it's served in a glass. Because this glass tends to have a bit bigger volume than the standard coffee cup, it ends up being a milkier drink. We have a single shot of espresso and we want to see about one centimeter of froth in that glass when the drink is finished. To do this, just make sure you add one centimeter of froth to your jug when you're texturing your milk. I would actually say texturing that milk for a flat white or a latte is basically the same thing. With a flat white, the cup is just a little bit wider so that froth will spread out a little bit more and look a bit thinner. Now the last of our more popular milk drinks is the cappuccino. The cappuccino has one shot of espresso and frothier milk on top of the coffee. I like to aim for one centimeter of froth below the surface of the cup and about half a centimeter of froth above the surface as well. To do this, make sure you're continually moving the jug down when you're steaming so that the steam tip stays on the surface of the milk and more air is added. You want to add about one and a half centimeters of volume to the milk before returning that steam tip below the surface. Now the cappuccino is a little bit different when pouring. You want to keep the spout of your jug right up close to the cup to help allow this frothy milk you've added fall into the cup. Now, if you can have a golden ring of crema around the edge of the froth, that's an absolute bonus. And remember in Australia, we add chocolate to the top of our cappuccinos. Next, we're going to take a quick break from coffee to talk about a hot chocolate. The best way to make one of these is to take your chocolate powder or chocolate sauce and add it in directly to the cold milk. Once you've done this, you're going to texture the milk the same way you texture a latte or flat white. Then you're just gonna pour that textured chocolate milk into a glass and top it with a little bit more chocolate powder. Once we know how to pour a hot chocolate, we can easily make a mocha. A mocha has chocolate and coffee. So we're gonna start with a single shot of espresso and then texture your milk with the chocolate in it, just like when you're making a hot chocolate. Then we just pour the textured chocolate milk into our shot of espresso and we're good to go. Sometimes people put chocolate powder on just half of the top of this coffee, but I think if you're gonna do it, you may as well go the whole way. The last of our most popular espresso drinks is the chai latte. This one doesn't have any coffee in it. It's a mixed spice tea drink. Now you can either make it with a chai flavored syrup 
or with the traditional tea, usually sweetened by honey. The best way to do this is to add your chai tea to some hot water in the bottom of your milk jug and then let it sit and steep for about a minute. Then add your cold milk and then texture the whole lot the same way that you texture a latte. Once we're done, we're gonna make sure we give the steam wand a really good wipe and then pour the mixture through a tea strainer into your glass to remove the tea leaves and spices from the final drink. Most cafes will top your chai latte with some cinnamon sugar as well. A chai latte doesn't traditionally have any espresso in it, but you can make what people call a dirty chai by adding a single shot of espresso to the glass before you pour the chai latte milk in. Okay, so two final recipes for you. A macchiato is an espresso shot with a dash of frothy milk added. The word macchiato means stain. Picture your espresso shot stained with a dob of frothy milk. An affogato is a scoop of ice cream covered in espresso. The word affogato means drowned. Picture your ice cream being drowned by a double shot of espresso. Okay, so some quick final tips for you. All of the recipes I've mentioned above are for a standard size cup or glass for the coffee. As you go up a size, you tend to add an extra shot in order to keep the strength of the coffee the same. For example, if you make a flat white in a cup with a single shot, a flat white made in a mug would have a double shot. Hopefully with all these recipes, you'll be able to make every coffee you need to, but if you still have any questions, ask me in the comments. If you're needing some help with your milk texture or your espresso shots, check out the previous videos in this series. Otherwise, the next video will be a guide on tasting and evaluating your espresso shots to help you get the most out of the coffee you buy. Keep frothing!